ba 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 ra 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 ba 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 Welcome back to Bunny and Raccoon, Raccoon Game, Game Review. Review. Um, today we have a very special guest, a special Hello. friend of ours. Hello. Penguin. 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 Please introduce yourself. Hi. Um, my name is Penguin. I'm a student at the Paul, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my actual name is Mem Hong Ah. And I'm a second year at the park right now. So, hello. Very formal, very formal. Very formal. Yeah, yeah, what about yeah. your social security number in the back of your uh, card? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, <laughs> and for the security, I mean, sorry, credit card, I don't have that memorized, unfortunately. unfortunately. How sad. So, yeah, would you like to guide us on what game we will be reviewing today? Sure, sure, sure. Um, the game that we will be reviewing today is a niche game on an overrated already. It's so true. So true. true. Um, it's called, you may or may not have heard of it, it's, it is called Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's came, Gate! Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it, came out, <laughs> <laughs> it came out last year in August, and ever since then it has, I, I think it won a few awards, nothing major, like yeah. Game of the Year, yeah. many, many awards, you know? Yeah. But like, you know, not, not too many people have heard about it. Game of the Year award, but like, yeah, very niche. Yeah. If you ever play D&D, it's essentially that. So good. It's so good. It's so really good. good. It's really good. So yeah, would you like to guide us? Uh, to your favorite character customization yeah. because I think that's one of the big things. Part yeah, about, like, uh, D&D and Butter's Guide. And Nam enjoy that part very much. Nam spends a whole lot of time. I could have been characterized, like, built, like, three different characters and Nam was still choosing the hair for his first build. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> All right, what can I say? <laughs> you, know what, you know what? I like to customize as well. However, not to that degree of customization. Uh, honestly, I do like doing the random selection at times because it kind of is just funny to see what kind of character it just yeah. comes up with. And obviously, I like I like playing like the other races, like the such as halfling dwarves, because they give like good bonuses to like mm. the player abilities and stuff. But as for like classes. Uh, I like Paladin, mostly because spellcasting, very strong, yeah. and like, it kind of a jack-of-all-trades kind of character. Mm. Mm. I'm a big, big nerd about D&D, so I, I get I into tell. the nitty gritty of it. Um, but yes, I like playing my short boys a lot, so a lot of halfling, a lot of gnomes, a lot of Harangorn as well, but Harangorn is not in um, Baldur's Gate 3, which is unfortunate, but I, I like my tiny boys who have absolutely no walking speed at all in that game. <laughs> So I always have to play like um, I always wanted to play a ranger, but Annette here doesn't know how to play anything different than a ranger. <laughs> no, I do how to play barbarian. Sure, very very demanding. Of so you you know how you know how to hit things. Yeah, I know how to hit things. You click a button. So I, I, yeah, I play a lot of um, cleric, sorcerer, warlock, rogue, and. Um, I, I mean, I, I played all of the class already. <laughs> wizard as well, yeah. I think you're a big fan of wizards. Yes, especially romancing them. Yeah, obviously, because um, <laughs> I remember doing all playthrough. Um, you immediately, immediately went towards Gale, the wizard NPC that becomes kind of part of the party, no? Yeah, okay, okay. So L- listen to me out here. <laughs> I, controversial topic, I like Gale better than I like Astarian. I th- I'm not sure, sure that's controversial. I think that's the more unpopular opinion. Nah, Astarian. Astarian's like the most popular, and then there's Shadowheart's also more popular than Astarian, and then there's my little boy Gale. <laughs> uh, he's trying to be quirky over there. <laughs> he's, he's, just, you know, he's a little guy, a little yapper. He's a ticking time bomb. Yeah, and the other guy's a vampire who at- drink your blood without your consent. Who's an issue now? <laughs> Why do you like Asarian? Me? Yeah, why are you defending him? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, sorry, I don't, I personally do not like Asterion. I'll get this on the record. Uh, I am just saying, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I, ju- I just want to be confrontational towards Nam is all. Oh. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. I'm giving you enemies. I think and both of them My biggest op. Yeah, played Baldur's Gate or know about Baldur's Gate. I was dragged into the game because Nam asked me to. Okay, no, no, let's not dragged into a more like invited to play. Yeah, no, I like, absolutely dragged her. Yeah, into absolutely it. Yeah. dragged. I, I saw Nam playing it for a really long time until I was like, yeah, yeah okay. She's also the reason why I stopped the whole playthrough. Oh. 
Aren't I the best person ever? <laughs> so yeah, uh, funny story. Me and Annette's uh, cousin. Yeah, cousin. Used to have and Annette has like a honor mode playthrough. Mm. Mm. Oh, so God. no, no loading back honor modes is like the hardest difficulty of that game, which I have beaten on my own by myself. Solo run? Why so, you not solo me? run? It was not. It was not my fault. Yeah, but <laughs> so Miss Annette here. Hey. I did, did a wrong thing and her cousin also <laughs> did a wrong thing and that's why Astarian absolutely died during his cutscene, his Good final cutscene uh, in, in no. the chamber and we can't load back so he just died, died and I just, that's like the first time I ever rage at the video game so bad <laughs> that I'm like, I'm, I'm getting it, I'm getting out of here, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> yeah. It must have been... It must have felt really bad to get to that point of the story because, like, that's towards a very, very yeah, yeah. That's after you're ready. Yeah. We get that far in Arnold's mode. If these people, no, I had a learning to curve. What I say I did. Hey, I did. I made mistakes. Yes, I did, but I yeah. did listen to you. It was an unintentional mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. The thing is that, like, um, they keep updating Honor's mode to be harder and harder every every patch. So I kind of want to do one again. Please. Not with you, of course. You should do it solo. No. Nah, yeah, do nope. solo. Without like, Gale. bro. Without <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I need my girl in my party. <laughs> like, do it solo. But yeah, I was. I did not have previous knowledge about D&D whatsoever. So, pardon me for not knowing how to play the game. But I. But I had a learning curve. Believe it or not, I had yeah, a learning curve. Yeah, sure, which the build I built for you, you just have to press two <laughs> buttons. Why did that learning curve have to be on honors mode? <laughs> no, we played other modes before, and yeah. then we got, you know, she got confident. <laughs> I got I got my ranger build, I know what to do now. Yippee. Yeah. Yippee. So we were doing pretty well. I was playing like a sorcerer cleric at that one too as well. So I love Lady Very Tiaz. much, we're trying to min-max our character build for that run. Not we, him. I just do what he said. It's an honors mode run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to do. You have to do your best, obviously. Yeah. It will punish you if you don't. See, I did my best. I only shoot our air, our allies like once or twice. And then On what accident. Happened? And then what happened? And then they don't die. They just take damage. And, and, my and then they drop. die because they lose health and now the enemies attack them because they're low on health. That was not my fault. They sure, just... <laughs> sure, sure, sure. You only shot the arrow. You know, but I shot like two people, two you different two, people. Though shot, mm. it was not the same person. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's what they all said. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think that's my favorite thing about Baldur's Gate that I get to wear tiaras. <laughs> yes, oh, whole game is just tiara. <laughs> so Annette, whole game is tiara. My whole game is romancing Gale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, Baldur's Gate is a dating sim to me. I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. It is a dating sim. Yeah. It is a dating sim. I God. love Shadowheart. She deserves all the attention she's God getting. favorite princess. Like, wow. I, I like her. She's like, she's so... She's, she's so? She's like cold on the outside. But like, once, yeah. you, once, you, once you romance her, she's really nice. And then she... Aww. I think that's how it is for a lot of people. And then she dyed her hair white. Wow. Bleach her hair, you mean? Oh, um, actually. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fake fan. Oops, oops, oops. Fake fan. Oops, oops. English, my second language card. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, what is your favorite character to romance? Um, I like to romance. I like the main NPC characters of the party. Uh, Lisa. Oh yeah, I remember yeah, that. I, remember. I don't yeah, like. I don't, don't like. like hot take. I don't like Lisa. Girl, that's a racist take. I'm just kidding. That is not true. You are against the one non-human. Yeah. The party. Wow. No. Okay. No, the Gif Yankee was not very nice in general. Like. I mean, once you romance her, her story is actually pretty nice as well. I yeah. really enjoy her story. See, I I played just, like oh. yeah. I'm sorry. I played like around like eight playthroughs now. And every time I'd be like, I romance a different character. But it's always it's Gale. Always Gale. It's just always my baby. <laughs> look, 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 look. Lazelle, like every other character, like Shadowheart, as soon as you get to know her, she, they are kind of off putting, but given time, they will become more open, you know? But Lazelle hit my, almost trying to kill my Shadowheart, or vice versa. Okay, Shadowheart was kind of, <laughs> Okay, to, in her defense, Shadowheart was kind of just being racist towards Lazelle. Yeah, Shadowheart is racist against Yankee. 
No, I don't. I, Miss Ding out here defending hey, a racist. No, I'm not. Oh my God! This has been the second time there's a ra racism allegation on me in this podcast. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm you should not. check that. Maybe you should check that. That happened the third time. No, the gift Yankee was not yourself. very nice to me because I always play as an elf. Here's the thing about the gift Yankee. Some backstory. Um, they are essentially just like a brainwashed species of like people. Um, to be warriors, and they essentially don't yeah. know side life. I know, but like, they were still mean until I until I defeat that 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 lady, that big lady. Which big lady? The the god. Uh, I forgot um, her name already. Yeah. Vlacketh. Vlacketh. Yeah. Like I'm so sorry you're brainwashed, but like you were nice to me up until that point. Like Lisa was nice afterwards after she's not brainwashed anymore, but like the damage is done. She's, she's just, sometimes she's just not nice to me and I just can't take what it. What about Miss Gaslight Gatekeep Girlboss Shadow Heart who lies about everything that she follows a cult who also brainwash people yeah, by Sh making them forget things? Shadow is also very brainwashed as well. Yeah. But she also has a tiara. It's because she's human? No, yeah, it's just because it? she has a tiara. I like Carlag. I, I, if I wouldn't, if I don't romance Shadow Heart, I probably would. Romance yeah. Carlac. All right, Carlac's the best story, best Carlac narrative arc I ever read in my life. Just gee. I agree. I would watch Shadow Hearts more my type. I would agree that Carlac's storyline is yeah, so much better. Yeah, so good. She is so much better as best a human girl. being. No, she's not human. But like, damn racist. <laughs> as a being, as a being. No, she was so nice. It's like. What do you mean as a being? She is a being. Yeah, but... She's a tiefling. But she's so nice to me. That's what I'm saying. Like, Carlac was so nice to me in like, the wars and... But That's Shadow why I but, like Carlac But also, Shadowheart was it also? Shadowheart is... Shadowheart's manipulative. Sa you, I, you like that kind, right? I like... Um... You can fix her? Can you fix her? I did. See, this is why I don't like Asterion. He's also too manipulative. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Asterion is just weird. He just he just sucks on my blood. Like... People are into that. Uh, not I me, mean, though. Sure, he, he sure, sure. Of, sure. Nam, you still like Asterion, though. I don't. I never like Asterion. Uh, the before Gale, you like Asterion. No. Do not do the yes, you did. My first romance is Gale. I know my type. You're lying! I remember it was Cesarean, then maybe is this your second? Second or? My second one, I romance Cesarean. My first, um, Gale, and my second, Cesarean. Wait, 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 I have a question. What do you think of, like, Will? <gasps> Will's nice. Again, his story is not as fleshed out as I want it to be, because mm. his story in third act is really minuscule, and, like, his story in the second act is also small as well. Since he's also one of the early companions, I wish there's more of him. Mm. Very disappointing. Very, very sad that he has a very like short story and like mm -hmm. line overall recorded. Same thing for me with Hassan as well. Uh, I love Hassan. Hassan after the second act just like died. We should have got him in second act instead of after second act. No, we did. We, got him during we get him in the camp, but not in the party. Oh, right. He's oh. not usable until after third, uh, after second act, not at the beginning of second act. Okay. Which, that's his whole shtick. I don't know why we can't have Hassan that early. Which, love Hassan. Love him. I, I Hassan is Nam's type. Yes, it's, it's Gale and Hassan. Very, yeah. Okay, so Twink, not Twink was a boy, but like, Skinny was a boy versus Buff Elf. Yeah. Buff Elf, Druid, yeah, Bear. To, to end of the spectrum. Yeah, bear. Yeah. Bear scene. Hello. Yes, Queen. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's like Mama boots the house down. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the... I was the squirrel in that scene. <laughs> Damn. I randomly remember that Baldur's Gate has a lot of words to read. I think my, I think Ranger and Barbarian has the least words to read because it's not like spellcasters. So yeah. you have like a lot of like things to read and the things to min-max. But I struggle with reading. A lot of it <laughs> comes from our knowledge of D&D as well so mm -hmm. we know what most spells do yeah. already it's just a matter of like if the uh, if Baldur's Gate make any like changes to like targeting or damage or whatever to the thing like you know magic missile and stuff I love magic missile what's your favorite what's your guys favorite spell in Baldur's Gate or in D&D Baldur's Gate because we were reviewing it oh shit <laughs> uh, I can I can yap all the way about D&D 
Uh, my favorite spell would be Polymorph. Mm, mm. Good, good. Uh, Why? You can take an enemy. It could be a human. It could be a monstrosity. It could be anything, as long as it's like living, and make that thing into a sheep. Mm. That's about it. Mm. I think it's fun. Meant yeah. about harmless man doesn't like doing damage to others. Yeah. My favorite spell is the hold spell. So there is the hold person, hold monster, and then auto irresistible dance. <laughs> um, auto irresistible dance is good because it's like a one turn crowd control. So an enemy can't act anything. That's that's how I like win a lot of my honors mode run because I just spam autos on Gale with like a spell DC of like 23 something. Mm. So impossible to succeed. Impo impossible to fail. Or like succeed as a save, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I like that because after that, when you are in melee as well, your hits always like crit. So that's I, that's my go-to combo of like Gale with hold person or hold monster and Karlak with smite mm -hmm. and divine smite and stuff like that. So you just rack up like 200 damage easy in one turn kind of vibes. Mm -hmm. And like uh, a sword bard as well, which also. Um, like level dips into Paladin who can smite at like 5th or 6th level or like no or like 4th level but you have more spell slot as a bard mm. and you have um, two handed attack as well so you know min maxing min max. min max. that's how I win my, um, my my, my honor spell run but that was not mm. enough unfortunately within that because I was playing a sorcerer and I, 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 I trusted them to no trust is Steven I Cousin, did. I yeah. did my job. Okay. Uh, sure. I listened to you. Whatever you said, I do exactly the same thing. It was in my fault. Okay. okay. Oh, my question for you guys is: Do you have a preferred favorite act? My okay. As much as people said they hate Act Three, just because how bloated, how many things I love. It is huge. It's huge. I love Act Three so much because that's a lot of the place where. Um, I like Jahira a lot, mm. so you get a lot of Jahira backstory in Act Three. Um, and again, like it's it's an, an act, a lot of things. You get a lot of backstory of a lot of characters. A lot of things come to a climax. Yeah, I um I like Roland and Rolo uh, the Rogan as well. Yeah. Oh, I don't. That that story was just sad to me. Yeah, but you know I like it. Um, yeah, and then if Arabella, no, not Arabella. Um. The Bart and the first act as she survives. Afira, Afira yeah. Mm. yeah. That's just fun as well. I love it. For myself, I kind of like act one more because it's just like you're new, to, not new to the game, but like everything's fresh. Yeah. And like you're just exploring. When it gets to act three, act two is like, I don't really like it because it's just too dark and gloomy for me. Yeah. Like the atmosphere and the setting itself. Act one is just like, Oh, you're just like out in the wild, explore, yada yada yada. Here's your choices. Hmm. What do you want to do? A lot of mystery as well because you're just yeah. introduced to like um, the chosen, the minds, uh, the mind flayer parasites, and everything, and like the relationship dynamic between like the elves and like the tiefling. Yeah, I really like that. The druids and the tiefling, yeah. Yeah, and that. I like Act Two because it's just rounding out. It's just, it's just yeah, it is. It's just weird down there. There's a lot of yeah. like creatures and stuff down there. It's just weird looking. I love weird looking things, and tiaras. That's where tiaras that's where act I two. get my tiaras, and I love it. My yeah. favorite act. <laughs> there are a lot of beautiful tiaras in the game, and like, it only it only works for you if you are a certain built and yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's the nature of rpg game like yeah. that yeah so mm. that's why that's why i'm a ranger because i get to wear pretty tiaras no that's here absolutely did nothing <laughs> to your ranger build you should have a different helmet on i hate that helmet every helmet in Baldur's Gate is surprisingly that's why they ugly. have a toggle on and off for a helmet slot i know I, I really but like appreciate. there's only one helmet slot like i could have yeah. just toggled that off and wear my tiara this is mod the game at this point they they, they included mod support now <laughs> Oh, one thing I do like about Baldur's Gate is that for uh, the equipment such as like helmets or like armor and stuff, you can dye it. But yeah. like, also, if you don't like what you're wearing, you can just like switch to your camp attire. Yeah. I I really look at <laughs> specifically Nam. Uh, you. Yes, me. Yeah. You, you as your barbarian. Uh, running and very around. Running around with Gale in matching outfits. Yes. Or lack we... of ma matching outfits. Because we're almost. partners. Yeah. <laughs> the game. Day. Sure. <laughs> yes. Hey, I don't, I'm not gonna sing. Y'all just gonna play to see it. Yeah. 
I just like the customization. And yeah. Like the creative, not creative choice, but like the freedom you get to do when like designing your character yeah. and also outfitting them. Mm-hmm. God. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna come back to Baldur's Gate sometimes. The semester is definitely not it. <laughs> sure. Ooh. Yeah. We'll probably come back to it when we when we. We can play Baldur's Gate over the winter term. Probably. Yeah, I, that's. Yeah. I think that's my where I'm gonna start a Baldur's Gate game with few friends maybe yeah a few friends that mm. does not include no me. that includes I, I, you too <laughs> oh my god you were like i'm not starting a vo- an honor mode with you and i was like no i get it i wouldn't if i were myself you wouldn't, you would i wouldn't do either. that too i i might just start like two new playthroughs <laughs> two, yeah. two new playthroughs at the same time yeah and in both of them you're gonna romance scale <laughs> who Obviously. else oh i might i might actually romance hassan <gasps> yeah Ooh. I've been trying so hard to romance Carlac. She's really easy to romance. Yeah. yeah. But somehow, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Are you bad at romancing? Her? No. Sometimes yeah, she it... failed your her romance with Shadowheart. Yeah, I don't even know how that happened. With Shadowheart is one of the easier characters to romance. Yeah, I romanced her before. I don't know what I did wrong in that run through, and I just. Who's the hottest romance then? Astarian. Astar- oh. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Ugh. I don't know. Because he, um, they're like, they release like a statistic, and Asterion has like the highest turn down rate. Ooh. So actually, character can actually turn you down if you didn't have high enough approval and stuff. And I Asterion am... approval is hard to get because he's more on like uh, the mischievous and kind of like mean side of things. One thing I, I, I love like the party creation and like the party composition, and you yeah. can just like switch and switch them out. But like, one thing I kind of dislike is like the approval system. I try to make a choice based on like myself and like what I want to do in like yeah. the dialogue scene and it'd be like oh call like a poos uh Exterion resents you he hates you he will never talk to you again this is Exterion disapprove I like he the approval chat cause it's, it's 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 you know like it's it makes the game realistic it does make it realistic yeah. but, oh. it does you just Asterian. want you're just a people pleaser yeah you just have an issue Exterion will not like you if you do something nice he's yeah. just like when you're mean and do mischievous mischievous thing yeah, yeah. It's fun when like him and like Zell together and you can just like get approval points kind of from like the both of them when you do like a mischievous action. Or, like, yeah. Yeah. Just straight up killing people. Yeah, that, that works. That works really good actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do I do like the system though. Mm. It is fun. And it does bring a sense of realism to the game. Alright, I guess we should round it out. We should oh, rate yeah. it. Rate. Last oh, time yeah. we didn't rate as does fall. I did. Uh, apologies. What did, did you? Did oh, you? Yeah. We didn't. I rated out like what like uh, like f- uh, like what five death people out of five like six dead people. So five out of six. <laughs> so no, uh, how many did I get killed that game? So two dead people out of like ten people is alive. It's so, so it's an eight out of ten. Yes, so? eight out of ten. Okay. Yeah. And what, what what score would you give to Baldur's Gate? Baldur's Gate, um, ten kissing with scale. <laughs> out of ten. Out of ten kissing with scale. Uh, okay. What about you, ma'am? Uh, three gates out of three gates. <laughs> mm. I give it a nine tiaras out of nine. Oh, out of ten. Because mm. I think. I think that you one... just suck and don't know how to play Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I, that which is yeah, which, yeah. which is it's the problem. High like, skill gate. High, high skill, skill gate. Yeah, like yeah. I I wish that I know the D and D lore way before until Baldur's Gate, so I can enjoy the game fully. Yeah. But the game is also very beginner friendly. If you very. actually sit down and read, I just don't do that. So that's a yeah. big problem. English is your second language. Yeah, but if you actually sit down and read the thing, I think it's not it's beginner friendly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Barbarian. Yes. Please, buff rangers in D and D. In D and D, please. Because, because I own, I can only play that. <laughs> no, please. Also, bush, bu- bush, bush, buff, buff. Thank you. Buff all the martial classes in D and D five e. You give too much attention and love to the woods. Yeah, so, so they they did a lots. good job with some of the new class. This new edition, it's like five point five or something now. That's what they're called. I don't, I don't feel like it's enough. It's not enough, and I particularly don't like a few rules in that, so I might just continue to roll with the old one if I ever play a new one, because a like, few of the subclass are not transferable over, and I like... Uh, there's a few subclasses I like that it's not in there. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. So yeah, 
So yeah, yeah. thank you guys so much for staying until mm-hmm. the end. Bye and bye. I hope to see you guys in, the, in our next episode and possibly our last episode <gasps> for this semester. Yeah, short run, short run. Short run, short run. So thank you so, so much for staying here. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.